Now we'll get into the tropics. And again, we're using this very wordy sort of name that we have now in the past few years. This has been unrolled by the National Hurricane Center to describe a system, as I said, that's not developed yet, but will develop soon. And it allows them to kind of get the warnings out for areas like Puerto Rico and on toward Hispaniola, uh, where they are going to be looking for some tropical storm warnings and watches uh, because it does look like they might have tropical storm conditions coming in the next couple of days. However, as I was pointing out, if it moves over land, also encounters some dry air that is out there, especially over the other side of the Caribbean Sea. And you can see that it might get knocked down if it does become tropical storm Fred later today possibly back to a depression before it moves out into these warm waters of the southeastern Gulf and then takes its turn off to the north. And there's pretty good consensus you can see with the models for that to be the case. Still a bit of uncertainty. It hasn't fully developed or formed yet, but we're going to be continuing to track it at this point, though. It looks like it will be moving to the north and this would be the setup. We have a big high that it's kind of uh, riding under right now off to the west northwest and at the moment and heading into this weekend. This is Saturday. I have started our model here. A big high will be off to the northwest of Louisiana and it may kind of scoot between these and kind of ride around this big high. So that's why we're expecting the turn to the north and eventually the recurving off to the northeast. As we look at our rain forecast, by the way, assuming it takes that path, which it looks like it will right now, notice that there's a lot more rain expected over for Florida. Maybe you can see in the reds up to three, four plus inches of rain. Of course, details on that will have to be ironed out soon. But for us, the greens and blues, that's very typical for what we see with the afternoon storms. That's up to about an inch or so of rain. And this is our rain forecast for the next seven days. So not to say that these things couldn't change a little bit, but at this point, we're just expecting it to take that path farther to the east of South Louisiana. Here's our model, the European. I just wanted to show you an idea. Take it with a grain of salt. These will change a little bit, but notice that the European model keeps it on the somewhat weaker side. Again, not fully developing it into a strong hurricane or anything like that. This will probably be a depression or tropical storm situation. We'll see, but that's how it looks right now. And then this is the GFS model, just to give you another um, indication of what it is showing. Just the latest run is kind of bringing it really close to maybe Panama City. Again, the exact landfall will likely change, but this is how it's looking right now. We're watching everything really closely. We're almost at mid-August, so we know we're going to be watching the tropics very closely. We will keep you updated for sure, but at this point, you can see the very steady, very typical summer forecast for our area continues through the weekend and into early next week, too. All right, thanks, Alex.